and, no, and yeah. this person is uh, being extra weird, so Julia does not have a phone anymore, guys. Dang, so everybody that's Julia's friend that's watching this video, she doesn't have a phone anymore. Really, it's not about that, CJ. But I'm telling you. It's not about that. I'm telling you guys that's watching. That, if you're watching this, you don't want to end up like this, all right? Don't go be mischievous on your phone, texting what? people, talking about you in love. Hey y'all, it's Destiny, and do y'all think that Life is Royalty wants Julia to be just like her? Do y'all remember a while back when Julia posted about her jumping in a grown man's DMs? I think it's a rapper. And then of course, you know, Charlene was saying, oh, it's not that bad. She didn't say anything to him that was wrong. She was just encouraging him. Well, I ended up finding another video and it looks like Julia was actually texting and messaging some random person that nobody knew. The crazy part about it, she was only able to keep this a secret for like a month. And in this video, you will understand why I said like mother, like daughter. So if you're ready to get into this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I post. Me, Royalty is very upset because Julia just got busted. Mm. Royalty Julia didn't do anything wrong. Royalty is a good parent. She goes through her kids' phones and she makes sure they're not doing nothing they're not supposed to be doing. And she found out that Nation What's wasn't doing Leon anything. Justin? But Leon wasn't doing anything either. Well, duh. But Julia? Oh, Julia had a lot to explain. She be going on TikTok, messaging people, sending voice messages, pictures, all kind of stuff. What? So basically, y'all need to check y'all kids' phones right now. Right, Royalty? Check your right kids' phones! Check your kids. This person is fake. It's a, a fish boat. I mean, wait, what's it called again? Catfish? Yeah, catfish, not fish boat. Catfish? This person doesn't even want to call me. Whoa. This person doesn't even want to face me. Dang, and it's 2021? Exposure. Exposure. Me a picture. Not a picture? Exposure. Oh. What's this TikTok? This is his banner. Oh, waxing. Wow. I don't know who this person is. And this Jalea phone? Is she in love? This is a bunch of hearts. This is a troll. Like, this is weird. I'm so. So, at the beginning of the video, you are seeing Charlene talking about what she's finding in Jalea's phone. And she does show the camera. It looks like a bunch of hearts and a bunch of skulls. CJ says that. Parents need to go through their children's phones, and he even gives Charlene credit for going through all of her kids' phones to make sure they're not doing something they shouldn't be doing. So a troll is yeah, trolling to yeah, be building a case for her, yeah. so that one day they can make a YouTube video. Yeah. That's grandma, you think? She knew it. We think grandma yeah. trolled Jaleel yeah. to get the tea. Yeah. First day troller. Do you want a girlfriend that trolls you first? No. 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 Wait, wait. So how did Jaleel meet them? Story doesn't make sense. No. And yeah. this person is uh, being extra weird. So Jaleel does not have a phone anymore, guys. Dang. So everybody that's Jaleel's friend that's watching this video, she doesn't have a phone anymore. Really, it's not about that, CJ. But I'm telling you, it's not about that. I'm telling you guys that's watching. That, if you're watching this, you don't want to end up like this. All right. Don't go be mischievous on your phone, texting what? people, talking about you in love. You got a phone, use it as a calculator or some notes and stuff like that. Yeah. Use it for Siri, but yeah. don't be on there being sneaky. And then Jaleah has to lie. Like don't lie to your parents. Listen, parents, if you watch this video right now, you need to be more like royalty. She's a productive mom. That's why she don't post that many videos. She be making sure her kids is doing the right thing at all times. You heard CJ, right? He said you need to be more like royalty. She doesn't post many videos. But that's because she's staying on top of her children and paying attention to what they're doing at all times. He actually called her productive. Charlene was going through everybody's phone in that house. Nobody could have a secret. Hey, come to find out her kid was messing up. And now we got daddy here. Cough, cough. You got the COVID. What the heck is all this? I mean, the Instagram, I, I got the Instagram. Oh, yeah. With TikTok, it kept getting disabled. But it's just like, I went in there to go tell her to clean her room. She was just hiding behind the door. What? I just said, give me her phone. Oh, she hiding behind the door. She had all that room in this Check out your kids. She got all that room for activities in there. This is freaking weird. I, this person won't even send me a freaking picture. Wait, my mom, she'll be standing behind her door. What was she doing? Like a ghost? She like, she, she must have. She's honest person that doesn't want to give you their number. Oh, you found her? Well, it's supposedly Jaleah said that they live in um, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Cal. They live in Georgia. Or something Cal. Like that. So how, how, how? How'd Jaleah gonna fall in love with somebody living in Georgia? She live in Nevada, and that's yeah, the halfway across America. Said. And for all the people that are going to come out here and say, oh, it's CJ, he was secretly doing it. He was secretly messaging Jaleah on a fake account. No, he wasn't. Because as you can see, 
Charlene is actively trying to talk to this person. The person is responding. So yeah, it's not CJ. Well, the reason why I found out because of my Daniel's son. Daniel? Oh, my friend, he based their messages and he said, happy first month. What? You and OX, by the way. Whoa. And then Julia said, thank you so much. I love him so freaking much. What the? I find out who this person is. So now I found out who the freaking person was, and now they don't even want to freaking give me their number. So they're probably not a real person. Nope. She found out who the person was just to find out that the person wasn't a person. And the only thing he does allow is audio call. He, hold on, protest. Oh my God, I'm so irritated right now. What should I do with this phone? You should, you should. Oh, go viral with it, go viral with it. I don't know, do something. That's too much. I'm gonna Why do I give my kid an itch? And they take them out. Wait, y'all buy it up. The grandma's Dang! This is definitely, I know royalty don't want to be on camera right now, but I'm only capturing this because this is a real life moment that happens in a lot of houses and no one talks about it. And we're here to talk about it because royalty is not the only one going through this right now. Now I just want to say that of course, Charlene would be upset about this. Just imagine your child sneaking and talking to somebody on the phone or DMing somebody and nobody knows about it. And she's been doing it for a month and the person doesn't even have a profile picture. So everything that Charlene is feeling right now is understandable. She has a right to be upset and not want her child to be doing this. And of course, CJ is right there, right along with her, agreeing with her, telling parents to check their children's phones, all of this. He never believed in children hiding things from their parents. At least this is what it looks like to me. And Jaleah's not the only kid. Go to their phone, right now. Right now. Pause the video, go through your kid's phone, right now. I know kids gonna be hating us about this. They're gonna be like, I watch you though, boy, you gotta be in trouble. Listen, I'm sorry. But look, I'm not gonna let Nation grow up like that. Leon grow up like that. Baby CJ and Baby Day grow up like that. And definitely not Jaleah. She over here writing somebody that could be a catfish, pull be a murderer, you know what I'm saying? We're not playing them games. We don't want nothing to happen. That being said, Nation, where your phone at? See what I'm saying? When your kid do that, when your kid do that, he got something to have. Look at it. This. this is a good kid. I ain't even gotta check his phone. When your kid comes to you willingly, you don't even have to trust them because they already trustworthy. And now we got my boy D-Lo here trying to cool things down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because it's been a rough one, you know? D-Lo yeah. missed, he missed out. He don't really know what's going on. See what I'm saying? He don't know. Look at him. Look at him now. He don't know nothing about that. But yesterday, Rosie had a rough day, you know what I'm saying? We're a kid. Something that we all go through as adults, you know what I'm saying? But you don't have no kids, so you don't know about this. But I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna see if what D-Lo think about it. You know, they got royalty right there. Feeling a little bit different today, royalty? No, not kids at school, she still feel the same. All right, so uh, basically D-Lo, what happened yesterday was... Uh... So obviously at this point, D-Lo gets there and CJ starts to explain exactly what happened the day before. Now let's get D-Lo's reaction to the situation. Royalty was being a mother, you know, doing what mothers do. Walking around the house, you know what I'm saying, looking for her kids. She was looking for Jaleah to look for her phone, do some TikTok hacks and stuff, and then out of nowhere, Jaleah was in the room hiding behind the door. What? Royalty caught her, like, what the heck? She saw Jaleah stuff her phone in the pocket. She goes, give me your phone. Jaleah walks away. Walks to her closet, proceeds to delete stuff. Royalty goes in there, snatches the phone, and goes through it, of course, right? Next thing I know, it's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Royalty then found out that Jaleah has a boyfriend. But the boyfriend is anonymous. And we're not talking about Batman Kevo anonymous. We're talking about this dude ain't got no face. This dude ain't got no freaking real name, age, or identity. And we don't know where he lived. Not we. Not we like just me, Royalty. We like just me, Royalty, and Jaleah. None of us don't know any of this information. So Jaleah. Uh, tells my nephew Daniel that, well, actually my nephew Daniel tells Julia, congratulations on your first month of being in love and congrats to y'all. And she goes, yes, and then so much love, I love him so much, oh my God. And that's what Royalty found, right? She goes, what the heck is this? Julia starts laughing. I don't know nobody. I'm not in love. That's not me. I don't know who said that. Now, does this sound like two parents that didn't know what their children were doing? Charlene was always going through her children's phones. They didn't have privacy like that. How could Julia have this big secret from her present mother who was there every single day, had access to cameras every single day? Charlene was always on her children and making sure they were doing what they were supposed to do. And of course, CJ was there to back her up. Eventually, the truth comes out. And the truth was, she's been in love for a month with somebody that she met on TikTok. And the only reason she in love with him is because he told her he loved her first. Oh, hell no! Nah, that's not the word. He lives in Georgia. He lives somewhere. I don't know. He might be using WhatsApp. I don't know. Don't go, trust me. It's a bunch of prep. I know it's that. So, what we try to tell Julia is that it's the three little. She's 14. You know what I'm saying? Kids do what kids do. Now, of course, she might have a little boyfriend at school. She thinks she likes whatever. That's different. Yeah, that's different, right, Rutten? But having an anonymous man that could be 60 years old trying to kill you, kidnap you, do all kind of. Now y'all see how D-Lo and CJ both were like, oh, this could be a predator. It could be a 60, 50 year old man. 
It could be somebody trying to unalive her and kidnap her. Now, I'm not saying that Charlene went and watched CJ's old videos and came up with this storyline, but it's very interesting. It's crazy that in this video, D-Lo and CJ both are agreeing that this could be some old, disgusting pedo man trying to talk to Julia and get her to meet with him and do some crazy stuff like kidnapping her. But now all of a sudden, CJ is supposed to be that. So D-Lo doesn't have a good sense of character either. Charlene doesn't have a good sense of character either. Everybody around CJ missed this. Come on now. There is no way Charlene missed any secrets when it came to her children. Listen to this. His TikTok has zero pictures. He's following zero people. And then, listen, his Instagram has the same exact profile pictures as TikTok. He's still following zero people and he has zero posts on Instagram as well. Jaleel's only way of talking to this dude through TikTok message. Bruh. It might not even be a dude. We see, no, it is. It's definitely a dude. Check it, check it, check it, check it. No, but when I bought him on TikTok, he starts calling. The number proceeded to call the phone. Like, I'm yeah. So as you can see right there, they said whoever was talking to Julia was calling and it was a number from Georgia. And they did confirm it was a man. I'm guessing they heard the person's voice. I'm not really sure about that, but they did confirm it was a guy. So royalty went on Julia's phone, blocked the dude, started dumping him, acting like she was Julia, like, I can't talk to you no more, it's over. He's like, why? I'm gonna kill myself. Don't do this to me, please. I love you. And then royalty blocked him. Next thing you know, Julia phone rang. But Jaleel claims she never talked to the dude, ever. Yeah. She don't even got his number, but somehow he just got her number out of nowhere. So they've been talking, you know what I'm saying? They've been doing a lot of cake baking, but that's all over because Royalty stole the phone and now Jaleel don't got no phone. So the moral of the story is, parents need to go to their kids' phones, right? You gonna be doing that? You gotta make sure you know what your kids are doing. All right. I mean, I always check out Jaleel, I know, that's what it's But they delete everything. But Jaleel, she had like Daniel on this little- Do not disturb. Little do not disturb thing, and then her messages thing, her messages wouldn't pop up. It they was, was also on uh, do not disturb. I don't know, it was doing some weird stuff. Like, I don't know, like, this technology is she tried to finesse. It's bad from this house. Wow, man, that's terrible, man. You know, this is what we're going through when you take off days, bro. I really, really needed your help, man. Yesterday was rough. So as you can see right there, Charlene said that TikTok was banned from that house because of this situation with Julia. The sneaking around, the lying, deleting stuff out of her phone. And just remember, y'all, this was only a month relationship that Julia was in and Charlene found out. So it only took Charlene a month to find out about this secret relationship that Julia was in. Another thing I want to say is the fact that both Charlene and CJ are saying check your children's phones. Now, I don't know if any of you watch some of these predator channels on YouTube, but most of the time the predators are always saying, don't tell your parents, don't say anything, keep it a secret, we're going to get in trouble, all of these things. But now people are trying to say CJ is this person when he's the one always saying, check your children's phones. Even Charlene sitting right there saying, check the phone. You don't know what they're doing. You need to be all up in their business. Well, it's just one day off. Now, future. Look, that's, that's what I was going to get to. Wait, 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 see, I understand why. Why? Why she did? Because 2021? No, because you, you, can't, you can't be kids for not doing something. Not even yeah. Okay, well, listen. Why, because, I mean, Julia knows. But then she really doesn't know the real consequences of somebody kidnapping yeah. her. She's meeting somebody and they're saying, oh, I'm 14 years old, BBS, flipping out extreme, and next thing you know, she's gone. Like She doesn't like, understand that. She don't watch the shy enough. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, like, like, I didn't put my hands on Juliet. I didn't do that for personal reasons. Because when I, I felt my, I looked at her and I looked at myself, basically. You used to do I that. And all my mom did was beat the shit out of me and all I did was make it worse and made me yeah. run away and made me never ever want to be at home. And I don't want her to feel like that. All right. So that's why I have, I have to tell her, like, this is serious. Somebody can kidnap you, Julia. This could be a predator. This could be a 70, 60, 50 year old man trying to talk to you. You don't even know because there's no pictures. He has no phone number. You don't know his name, his birthday. You don't know anything about this person. But you've been talking to him for a whole month. And you love him. And you love him, and that doesn't make sense. But she just said she, I mean, they're teenagers, but I just explained to her. So I think Julia understands now. And I hope she understands now. But just know she she won't have a phone for a while because she lost her. Do y'all hear how much sense Charlene back when she was royalty? had in this situation. She looked at Julia, saw herself, and realized what her parent did with her, yes, her parent, Tanya, what her parent did with her did not work. All Tanya did was beat her, tried to beat the bad out of her. And Charlene said all that did was make her more sneaky, make her run away from home, all of these terrible things. So right here, Charlene is telling everybody, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm not doing that in this situation. I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to tell her what's going on out here. I'm trying to protect her. Charlene had a deep conversation right here with Julia. And remember y'all, Charlene also told us she knows when her kid is lying, all of them. So do y'all really think that Julia could have another huge big secret and Charlene wouldn't find out about it? 
How is that possible? Learn from Julia's mistakes. Don't talk to people from the internet, especially if you don't know them in real life, if you've never seen them, and if they don't have a profile picture, if they don't even have a picture. Once again, we have CJ talking about the situation, telling all of the children, don't do this, this is not right to do. Don't talk to people on the internet, it's not safe, it's dangerous, there's a lot of crazy people. Now let's go to the video of Life with Royalty on her channel when everybody found out that Julia was DMing, I think it was a rapper. You be doing too much, girl. I heard you was in NBA Young Boys DMs. What did you tell that man? Did you want to see? Yeah, I want to see. What did I say? Hey, you young boy, I just want to say I love your music and the and that you meant to say that and that I love how you inspire others keep up the good work very inspirational so that's what y'all was talking about she ain't even do nothing I can see if she would have been like can you fly me out to your city she ain't even do that what y'all talking about she's just being inspirational now do y'all see the different parenting style now that Charlene and Cordero are not together anymore. It seems like Charlene is being more loose now, letting the children do more, letting them go to parties, they went to a pool party. Her style of parenting is getting more relaxed, in my opinion. When she was with CJ, it was more strict. They weren't allowed to go to different places. The phones were being checked regularly. And Charlene was keeping a close eye of what her children did every single day. And when I say a close eye, I'm talking about there were cameras everywhere. She was checking everybody's phones and she was checking those cameras because that's how she found out CJ was cheating on her by bringing two women into their home while she was in California. Now, I'm not saying that something didn't happen to Julia. Maybe something did happen to her. Somebody did do something to her. But the odds of it being CJ in that house with all those cameras, him constantly recording every single day, the other cameras in the house watching everything, Charlene always there 24-7, and she was making sure to check up on her children. All of them had phones, all of them had electronics, and she was on it. So in my opinion, if something did happen to Julia, maybe it happened by somebody else when she was somewhere else, but saying it was CJ, I'm not seeing how that is possible. Just think about how many people were always going to their house, spending time with them, their friends were there, they were having big parties, Dila was always there. It's just too many people over there all the time for something to happen to Julia and nobody know about it. But that's just my opinion. Now that y'all heard from me, I definitely want to hear from y'all. What do y'all think about this situation? Have you seen this video before? Do you think Charlene wants Julia to be like her? And do you see the parenting style change after Charlene and the children left CJ? Just let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one.